that may be a, a sheet of metal or, or something. See, you see that? Trash. No, 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 not really the shape of a rock, is it? Uh, doesn't have, it's got, doesn't have a natural shape to it. No, it's got too much of straight edge. Yeah. It could be the whole boat. It could be. It could be, it could be a piece like of, like a top of the house boat or something. And then you see that right there? That's the side view of whatever's above the surface. Yeah. I believe that we use this and we're going to find all kinds of junk. Yeah, there's like As a matter of fact, there might be a time where it's not feasible financially to even find a junk boat to go spend the money to raise it. Yeah. yeah. Y'all use it? Actually, there's, there's two there. What you see that deal right over there? That, that, that almost looks like a body. Yeah. You see, yeah. You, could, you could almost, you could make out some legs there but yeah. if, if we were searching for a body. Yeah, this one up here in this floor. Yeah. Works. That, that's typically something that, you know, if we had, a lot of it goes back to your interviews, you know. Yeah. You know, figuring out, okay, this is a good location. So then we get on the water with our, with our equipment and, and start scanning it. That would, be a, that would be a target. We would take several sweeps across there and get different angles of it to determine whether, whether or not that would be a good target. It actually probably is. It's probably two logs laying side by side with a rock at the top. Yeah. yeah. Just, you, can, you can measure that right there and see what that, see how long that is. You see that? That is a pellet. Matter of fact, the pellet is built. It's upside it's down. It's upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That, that's kind of interesting right there. It's two pieces of something. What I would say. Why? So it's hard. You know, it's, it's, gives that good signal. It's two pieces or something. What it, what it does is shoots. Instead of lines, it's like a laser type of beam. You know, like a Yeah, it just reads the bounce back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't. It's this way, it, it sends it back, and then, you know, there's a shadow behind it that it's not hitting anything. Pretty much exactly where something is at. If we drop a buoy on it and send a diver down, a lot of times it will drop a buoy right on it. Well, matter of fact, when we, we, Woody was the one that dropped the buoys whenever we marked these cars for the dive team. I'm almost certain that one of those buoys landed on one. It was on top of one of yeah. that car. Right? Can you imagine in 1969 having a 1952, that's a 17-year-old vehicle back then, mechanical brakes, uh, had the push started to get it started. Yeah. Uh, it's a piece of junk. We did that investigation, and the tires are so bald, I can't believe they made it here. Yeah. You know, in 1961, uh, the water level, you know, they that's when they started pumping water in here and in 1969 it was 1.5 feet less low what it is now. So so they were just barely they were barely under the water for part of the time right whenever they went out. Yeah, but then there was a lot of time that they were 25 feet away. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. We treated this like a post collision accident investigation. Yeah. And we went to the vehicles and we actually had a mechanic, so the biggest portion of this we knew was probably going to be mechanical rather than. Uh, Did you figure out what year they were in? Yes. What absolutely. year was he in? He was in low gear, first gear. Uh, the Camaro. The Camaro. Camaro. And the 52 was in second gear. What's that? The 1969 Camaros, they did have issues with motor mounts breaking. Well, one of the very first things that we knew is with evidence of possible collision is, is the fan. Do you remember the fan? No, I never the, the water department. One of the arms of the fan got into the shroud or got into something, so we know that the motor had to move, or the bumper had to move, but the, the grill and everything is intact. So yeah. the impact with 
that is just the undercarriage with the water. Yeah. And anyway, it, uh, the fan looked like it had got into the radiator a little bit and then also to the bottom of the frame. The motor mount, the one on the passenger side, it, it knocked it off of its motor mount, which broke the fuel pump. And also, we did further inspection of the drive shaft, the drive shaft, if that thing was together, you know, even when we pulled it up, it wouldn't have had anything in it. It would have, it would have the damage on the outside. There would have been damage on the outside consistent with yeah. all other uh, mechanical parts. Yeah. Well, so the drive shaft was actually knocked out of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, one stereo is, and he's driving, maybe doesn't know where he's at, you know, go a little faster than maybe should. And just slow that down to put it down to low gear, uh, to slow it down. Yeah. Ended up uh, striking the water with pretty good impact. Yeah. Probably when we are uh, off season, you know, we will be training, we will be, uh, we'll be good for we'll this. Be <laughs> We're going to try to get every, every leg west of I-35 with our, so our hummingbird's going to donate another one to us. Yeah. So we'll have two of them and uh, we'll be able to go and, uh, and we're going to, throughout the off season time period, I mean, we're not going to get it done next week. Yeah, right. But uh, throughout the off season time period, yeah, we're going to be going to try to hit every leg west of I-35 in our district. 